180. Hello, welcome to the official YouTube page of the official PDC. Well, if you had a chance to improve your game of darts, there would be no better way than a tip from a pro. So we've got Rod Harrington, the former world number one and two times world match play champion, to look at one of our cameramen, Juby, who is always playing darts. Now, when he's time off, he comes backstage onto the practice board and you play all the time. But Juby, for the first time in your life, you're going to learn to do it properly. So Rod's going to help you. Let's have a little look at some of the things you do. We'll start possibly with the setup. So let's have a little look. How's he doing, Rod? Is he set up OK? <laughs> Well, see, if you look at the first diameter of the 20, it doesn't seem a lot wrong. Well, it's a good straight tuck. I mean, there weren't a lot wrong. But the only thing is we were going to go forward into him, you know, trying to make it as a professional, there would be certain things that he would have to change. Now, one of them is you want to get as close to the board as you can. Doing that to that, that gets you four inches closer to the board. Juby is very upright like this, so he's throwing from here. If he was standing like this, more balanced, leaning forward, his arm is going to be at least six inches nearer to the dartboard, which means that when he throws, he hasn't got to push a dart, pull it, it's just a good action. Now, he has got a good action. The darts that Jube's throwing, it's a standard set of darts, but the, there's always a dart that fits your grip, that fix, fits your throw to the way it goes in the board. Your eyes have to be happy with the way the dart goes in the board. Now, Jube, it was a straight ton and a good straight ton, right down the line, it weren't drifting anywhere. So it was pretty good. But if he was gonna have to go on and he wants to take it on with the pros, like with a golfer, there's tweaks and things you have to do. Now, it is, right, I'm gonna try this today and I'm gonna try that tomorrow and I'm gonna try something else the next day. And if you can improve 1% on each thing, Right. You're going to improve your game very quickly. So, if, if the first can we see Juby move to the side? Can you? Would you? Would you try and? Yeah. Would you try that? I mean, instead of standing square on, could you stand? Is it like golf? It's going to feel awkward to start with. Yeah. We well, you say you're all over the place. I mean, not really all over the place. I mean, I'm sure you're going to get used to that. But you did strike me as being a touch closer to the ball. And like Rod said, I mean, that's got to be a good tip. One other tip, Rob, before we go, because we have a very important question to ask you as well. Just give us give Juby just one more tip. Well, he's actually pretty good to give tips to, uh, he, in as much as he's got a, actually a good throw from the start. But always keep your head still. Throw the dart from here to here. Don't use this bit to here. You see a lot of pros, even Adrian Lewis at times, when they're letting go of dart, and especially um, Kevin Payton the other night, as they're letting go of the dart, they're pushing the shoulder in. Now, if you do this, you're down the line, you're gonna go straight. As soon as you move your shoulder in, it moves your whole body to the left, it'll move your arm to the left. You'll hit fives. So it is head still, don't use the shoulder, and just keep down the line. And they're basics, but they're the basics that will start you off to be a, a good dart player. Juby's been playing for years, so he's already got you know, a pretty good stance and everything. But to the newcomers, the people who are just starting, so the youngsters out there, it is all about getting the right setup. In golf, if you don't go and have lessons from the start, there's a chance you're never going to be a great golfer. That's the true. same with dart players, and you can go and see any professional dart player, they really are amenable uh, to talk to and ask tips. But as starting off for youngsters, the stance, getting the right dart, and then just progressing each time. Keep positive. You hit a 26, that's history. The next one could be a 180. Stay very positive. All right, so you got all that. They're the, they're the couple of things that might help you with the game. But one of the most important questions, you won this trophy twice, the World Match Play. Now, we want to know where the trophy is. I ain't got a clue. I broke it in 99 on the stage. I went like that and the handle come off and I went like this, handed it to someone. Uh, I ain't seen it since. There you go. No one knows. One.